Can you create a YouTube thumbnail in Filmora? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. When you've finished your video editing in Filmora and you're ready to upload to YouTube, you'll need a custom thumbnail to make your video look attractive in the YouTube search results. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a YouTube thumbnail right in Filmora. First, drag the photo of yourself into the timeline and look for AI portrait option from the effects panel. Drag the human segmentation effect to your clip and then human border the next. Now you can see the subject has been selected and the background has been removed. The AI portrait is a useful effect. It allows you to quickly remove the background through artificial intelligence. Then we scale up our photo and arrange it on the visible screen. In this case, I'll move it to the left as I wanted to have my text on the right. Next, let's drag our background into the timeline. I got this background image from Filmstocks where you can get stock photos, video, as well as audio from there. The border around the human is a bit rough for me, and I'm going to tweak the settings accordingly for that to smooth it out. I would like to add a gradient overlay on top of the background to add some purplish color on the background picture. Then adjust the opacity of the gradient layer accordingly. Next, I would like to add a frame between the photo layer and the gradient layer to show depth in our thumbnail. So I choose Cinema 21 to 9 frame to add two black bars behind our subject. Let's choose our desired title from the library, where there's tons of title packs you can choose from. For this, I would go for New Title 18. Looks cool to me. Simply drag and drop it on the timeline, locate the title to the right, and type in the text that you want it to have on your thumbnail, and adjust your text accordingly. Lastly, navigate your playhead to the part where the text is fully shown on screen, and simply click Snapshot button below the preview screen and the snapshot will be saved in the default directory and automatically imported back to the media pool. You can simply right-click on the image in the media pool and click on Reveal in Folder to navigate to the directory where the thumbnail is being saved. Voila! That's how you can simply create a YouTube thumbnail on Filmora using Filmora's built-in effects and titles. If you would like to learn more about video editing, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated when we upload new videos in the future. Till next time, stay creative with Filmora.